Pennsylvania, Mr. Kelly. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Becerra, good to see you again. Good to see you. Uh, you spent a little bit of time in between. I just wanted to ask you something because I've been in the private sector my whole life, um, and, and I'm trying to figure out how you put all these pieces together. I, you have 83,000 employees, is that right? About there, yes. That, yes, a big payroll. That's <laughs> yes. a big payroll. So, and, and approximately 4,000 of these employees are based at the CMS at their Woodlawn, uh, Woodlawn, Woodlawn, Maryland headquarters. So how many of these employees are working today in person, actually in, in person? Uh, Congressman, the HHS workforce went back to full-time work uh, from the get-go. Uh, we were able to use telehealth during COVID, yeah. and now that uh, we're beyond that, we're able to continue work, the workforce at full-time. And you've heard some of the dramatic results of a workforce that has continued forward. Some have never left coming into the office or coming into work. Uh, others are taking advantage of some of the flexibilities that we provide so they could come in at, on some days and work from a different site other days. Yeah, well, I have a photo. This, this picture, well, you say these people are at work. This is last Monday, okay, March 20th. This is at 10.30 a.m. in the morning. It's a beautiful parking lot. Uh, there's everything on there except cars. I guess, I don't know how your people get to work, but this is your office building and you're telling me they're working full time. They must be working full time from home or some other, some other way of doing that. I, I just don't understand that. You know, um, Congressman, that's this not year, my, that's, you, this year, you know, no, the, no, Mr. Secretary, this is a picture. You've seen it before and you know what it is. Yeah. Uh, and that, then we request another $18 million in rent compared to last year. So, when you look at the people that fund all this stuff, and these are hardworking American taxpayers, I like the talk that goes back and forth about what we're gonna do for sick people, how we're gonna shore this thing up, how we're gonna do this, how we're gonna cover all this stuff. At the end of the day, there's only one person signing that check, and that is the taxpayers. So why should the American people be expected to pay rent for an office building that isn't even being used? There's so much waste in this government. There's so much, there's so much fat in this government. It is impossible. I'm embarrassed to go back home and tell people this is the way it's supposed to work. This is not the way it's supposed to work. This is crazy stuff. This is, nobody would look at this as a business model and say, hey, yeah, good idea, let's pay a lot of rent. Nobody has to be there, but we'll pay rent. Now, you said you're gonna get the whole workforce back to work? They're actually gonna show up in person in their buildings and actually work. And I, I'm not talking about being on these little things we've set up in this all the, all the little pictures show up and people get a chance to talk. I'm, I, I don't know, I think that they're so inefficient right now. Are you telling me, and I don't wanna know this, seriously, do you ever expect to be back fully at work, at their desk, in their buildings, doing the work for the American people? Uh, Congressman, uh, we are fully at work, uh, full time. Well, this was a national holiday then probably, right? This is March 20th. You know, Congressman, so this, I, don't, I don't even recognize that photo. That's not certainly a photo of my office building. Oh, okay. Maybe a, 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 a parking lot of a building uh, that HHS has employees in. Yeah, well. I, 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 dare, I, I doubt that you could say that that speaks to the work that's well, being done. I, I will tell you this. This is, Woodlawn, this is Woodlawn, Maryland, your headquarters. If this is your headquarters at 1030 in the morning on a Monday morning on March 20th, there's something that doesn't match with what you're telling me. I don't want to keep grilling you on this because I'll tell you what. Both you and I pay a portion of whatever it is that we earned to fund all these things. I just am appalled at the way this government works. There's so much fat. The things that we have to do, yes, do them. But you better learn how to work within a budget that makes sense. I can't take this home and tell my, my people that I, that I represent, you know what, listen, it may not make sense to you, but it doesn't have to. This is the way we run our government. This is your parking lot in Woodlawn, Maryland. That's where it took place. It did not take place someplace else. But, but you cannot say that the folks that work in that Maryland site, if there is a site there, are not working. I don't know. I, you know what? I would love to go sometime. I would even like to go to the IRS and see those people working at their desk. And I'd like to see your people working at their desk. 83,000 people getting a paycheck from the American taxpayers. And what we say is they'll work part time. 30 hours a week is part time. I would just say this government has a lot of people that are part time. I thank you. I yield back. Listen, I do appreciate your service because I like you personally. You know that. But I do, more than you, I like our taxpayers, and I just, you're the guy in charge. It's a heavy lift. My God, 83,000 people. They're working. Carl. I just, yeah, well, I, I know, I hear what you say. I'm just saying the pictures, the pictures don't reveal that they're working, and I think it, the American people deserve an answer. I'll bring you that. some pictures okay. next time. Okay, very good. Thank you. I'll go, I'll go here with you. The okay. gentleman from Connecticut is recognized, Mr. Larson. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.